Economic growth makes us strong at home and strong abroad. And we need an economically sound and secure United Kingdom. And that will mean challenging those who try to stop growth. I will not allow the anti-growth coalition to hold us back. <laughs> Labour, the Lib Dems, the SNP, the militant unions, the vested interests dressed up as think tanks, the talking heads, the Brexit deniers, Extinction Rebellion, and some of the people we had in the hall earlier. <laughs> the fact is, they prefer protesting to doing. They prefer talking on Twitter to taking tough decisions. They taxi from North London townhouses to the BBC studio to dismiss anyone challenging the status quo. From broadcast to podcast, they peddle the same old answers. It's always more taxes, more regulation, and more meddling. Wrong, wrong, wrong. We see the anti-growth coalition at work across our country. Keir Starmer wants to put extra taxes on the companies we need to invest in our energy security. And his sticking plaster solution will only last six months. He has no long-term plan and no vision for Britain. Mark Drakeford in Wales is cancelling road building projects and refusing to build the M4 relief road. Nicola Sturgeon won't build new nuclear power stations to solve the energy crisis in Scotland. Have these people ever seen a tax rise they don't like? <laughs> or, or an industry they don't want to control? They don't understand the British people. They don't understand aspiration. They are prepared to leave our towns and cities facing decline. <laughs>